هلو گایز چطورید؟ خیلی خوش اومدین به پارت اول از درس هفتم هدوه ایلمنتری گرامر این درس رو توی درس ششم گفتم بنابراین توی این قسمت مستقیم میریم سراغ کتاب Let's dive in Okay guys, we are on page 70 and 71 for today. On page 70, you can see a quiz called the 20th century quiz. Quiz yohamun emtohane arne bisto. How much do you know about events in the last century? How much do you know? Chekadr miduni. How much do you know about events در مورد وقایع قرن در واقع قبلی قرن گذشته چرا گفت how much چرا نگفت how many چرا گفت how much به خاطر که در نالج صحبت میکنید در مورد اینکه چقدر شما میدونید شما دونستنیاتون که قابل شمارش نیست درسته؟ بنابراین از how much استفاده میکنیم خب how much do you know about events in the last century? Working groups do this history quiz. Discuss your answers with the class. So you see 10 questions over here. Uh -huh. And uh, we are going to go through each question, figuring out the meaning of them and the, the, uh, to understand them. And then I'll play the audio for you. The answers of these questions are embedded in the audio, audio and it's just something easy to do. You just listen and you ju just pick the right answer. But I want you to do something additional. 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 I want you to لیسن یکی گوش میکنیم میگه آره مثلا سوال یک مثلا گزینه B سوال دو گزینه C خودش میگه من نمیخوام این کار شما انجام بدید میخوام توی هر شماره که داره میگه یه نکته اضافی مازاد بر این سوالی که اینجا هستش رو برای من بنویسید مثلا شماره یک رو نگاه کنید گفته When did Henry Ford sell the first Model T motor car? گفته که چه زمانی اول کیورد دارم مشخص بکنیم گفته چه زمانی when did Henry Ford sell the first Model T motor car اولین باری که اول اولین بار که نه چه زمانی هنری فورد اولین ماشینی که موتورش مدل T بوده رو فروخته جواب اینو توی اون لیسنی که براتون میذارم as I said it's embedded in the audio in the audio you can hear the question and they tell you directly is it A, is it B or is it C it's just right there ولی چیزی که من ازتون میخوام انجام بدیم که یه نکته اضافی تر از این سوال چون میشینیم در مورد این سوال رو صحبت میکنه فقط سوال نمیگه یه نکته اضافی تر در مورد هر سوالی برای من بنویسید این سوال یک بریم سراغ سوال دو حواست تو بشه سوال حالت زیگزاگی دارن دو این وره When was the Russian Revolution? So Russian anything related to Russia is called Russian but when was the Russian Revolution? انقلاب روسیه چه زمانی بود؟ In 1914 in 1917 and in 1924 when was it? Russian Revolution. Number three. How many people How many people died of flu between 1918 and 1919? Pas flu more than chan nafar budan ke more than 2 million, 10 million, 15 million. Okay? Number four, what did Alexander Fleming discover in 1928? Oh, Alexander Fleming. چه چیز رو در سال 1928 کشف کرد. Discover کرد. Discover میشه چی؟ کشف کردن. حالا خود کشف چی میشه؟ مثلا میخوام بگیم الکل یک کشفه. Uh -huh. Alcohol is 
a discovery. پس شکل اسمی این کلمه میشه چی؟ discovery. discover فعل discovery noun حالا که در مورد اکتشاف و نمیدونم کشف و اینا صحبت کردیم در مورد اختراع هم صحبت کنیم فعل اختراع کردن چی میشه invent and it's a verb it should be uh, used as a verb in a sentence and then we have invention which is a noun اختراع electricity is an invention uh -huh. telephone is an invention i mean you when you invent something you create them you make them from bottom up you you just make something that didn't exist before but when you discover something you just find it It was already there in the nature or something to be found and you found it so you discovered it this is called discovery and inventing or creating something like electricity or I don't know something like let's let me say something like um, telephones it is called an invention so these two are just poles apart they are just two different concepts Hala. What did Alexander Fleming discover in 1928? Alexander Fleming در 1928 چیزی رو کشف کرد. آیا X-rays رو اشعه های X-ray رو در واقع کشف کرد؟ DNA رو کشف کرد یا پریسلین رو؟ بریم سال پنج. When did the first Superman comic appear? چه زمانی اولین سوپرمن کامیک در واقع ظاهر شده پریدار شده 1939 1949 این یکی این number 6 when did people start using digital computers پس زمانی رو میخواد که مردم شروع کردن به استفاده کردن چی کامپیوتر های دیجیتال was it about 85 years ago was it about 65 years ago or was it about 45 years ago which one is correct Next one. Number seven. How much did the first color TV cost in 1955? So, was it 195, 495, or 1295. Which one is correct? On which date in 1969 did man first land on the moon? Pas dag tarikh dagiq chiro mikhad? Dar sal 1969 ke avalin bar insan ruye avalin bar insan ruye کره ما فرود اومده land on the moon شما فعل land رو برای هواپیما اونا شنیدید داشتیم land یعنی چی؟ یعنی فرود اومدن حالا بلند شدن چیه؟ میگیم مثلا مثلا هواپیما میگیم هواپیما take off میکنه درسته؟ take off میکنه و land میکنه landing و taking off حالا گفته اولین باری که انسان روی کره ما فرود اومده land کرده کی بوده؟ حالا you may ask the question سوال ممکن است پیش بیاد که اصلا شما اینجا کلمه انسان رو نمی‌بینید. اینجا کلمه من رو می‌بینید به معنی مرد. خیر، کلمه من بچه ها معنی دومش به معنی انسان هست. Human beings, man. Okay? Uh, on which date in 1969 did man first land on the moon? Was it on July the 20th? Was it on May the 3rd or was it on August the 13th? Which one? Number nine. When did the Berlin Wall come down? Pas zamani ke Berlin Wall omade poyin, dikhte poyin, che zamani bude? Which year was it? Was it in 1945, 1975, or 1989? And the last question. When did the public start using the internet? Pas چه زمانی عموم مردم شروع کردن به استفاده کردن از اینترنت was it about 
25 years ago? Was it about 35 years ago or 45 years ago? Which one is correct? ولی گفتم بچه ها من اودیوش رو براتون پخش بکنم راحت میتونی جواب بدین چون اصلا کلا میگه سال هفت گزینه بی مثلا سال هشت گزینه سی اینا رو بهتون میگه من از شما میخوام که یک اطلاعات دیگه یک جمله حد یک جمله اطلاعات جدید تری نسبت به این سال به من بدید برای هر شماره So just let's dive in 1 B Henry Ford sold the first Model T motor car in 1908. It cost $825 and came in grey, green, blue and red, but not black. 2. B. The Russian Revolution was in 1917. It started in St. Petersburg. 3. C. About 50 million people died of flu between 1918 and 1919. It was more than died in the First World War. 4. C. Alexander Fleming discovered penicillin in 1928. He discovered it by accident. 5. A. Superman first appeared in a comic collection in 1938, but the first Superman-only comic appeared in 1939. 6. B. John Atanasoff invented the very first digital computer in the 1930s, but the first programmable computers began to appear about 65 years ago. 7. C. The first colour TV cost $1,295 in 1955. In the 1970s, they cost around $350. This was still very expensive at the time. 8. A. Neil Armstrong landed on the moon on the 20th of July 1969. The second man to walk there was Buzz Aldrin. 9. C. The Berlin Wall came down on November the 9th, 1989. It was the beginning of the end for Communist Europe and the Soviet Union. 10. A. Universities developed systems of communication between computers in the 1970s and 80s, but the general public first began to use the internet about 25 years ago. Okay, guys. خب، بریم ببینیم باز من شلوغ فلوغ بیشتر میخواد هنگی میخواستم جانمونم از اودیو ولی خب بری به دامی داستانو. نمبر 1 گفتیم که اولین باری که اولین مدل تی ماشینایی که موتورش مدل تی بود و چه زمانی هنری فورد فروخت دی آنسر از B in 1908 and it cost 825 dollars this is my fact this is my additional fact so i said it cost 825 دلارز پس اولین ماشین در این سال فروخ فکتی که من آوردم اضافه بر سازمان چی بود اینکه قیمت شقه بوده 825 دلار 825 دلارز Uh, the second question, when was the Russian Revolution? It was in 1917. So the, 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 the B is the correct answer, the correct choice, cho choice to use, uh, to pick, sorry. Uh, but it is started in St. Peter's. Pastar Kojota, St. Peter's, it's a city in Russia. It is started there. The Russian Revolution started there. Number three, how many people died of flu? It was 50 million people died of flu between 1980 and 1999. And it's interesting to say that it was more than, more than the, the, the number of people died in the First World War. پس از تعداد کسانی که در جنگ جهانی اول هم مردن بیشتر بود این تعداد. این فکت ادیشنال منه. 
Uh, number four, uh, what did Alexander Fleming discover in 1928? He discovered penicillin. Penicillin romat cash card and he discovered penicillin by accident یعنی چی به صورت تصادفی دید پس میخوام وقتی بگین یکی چیزی به صورت تصادفی اتفاق افتاده جمله تون رو میگین آخرش میذارین چی by accident مثلا i saw my dad at the station by accident یعنی بابا ما تو ایستگاه تصادفی دیدم by accident number 5 when did the first superman comic appear Uh, it appeared in 1939, this is the correct answer, but the first time that Superman appeared in a comic next to other, among other uh, actually comic characters, it was in 1938 that he first appeared in a comic. Pas avvalin bori ke kullan shaksat Superman dide shod, zahir shod dar yek کامیک در سال 1938 بود اما کامیکش که مخصوص سوپرمن بود اولین کامیک سوپرمن سال 1939 اومد بیرون Number 6 When did people start using digital computers? They started using it about 65 years ago So this is the correct answer But there is a big but That uh, the first computer was invented in 1930s Okay پس اولین کامپیوتر ها در دهه سی در هزار سی در واقع به وجود اومد اختراع شد ولی اون کامپیوتر که پروگرامبل باشن یعنی بشه برنامه نویسیش کنیم اون 65 سال پیش در واقع به وجود اومد که مردم هم تونست ازش استفاده بکنن نمبر 7 How much did the first color TV cost in 1990? 55 it cost 1295 so uh, letter C is the correct choice but in 1970s it cost 350 <laughs> قیمتش خب برحال که همتش در 1955 Next one On which date in 1969 did man first land on the moon? It was on July the 20th So A uh, حالا کی این کار کرده من اشتباه هم نوشتم فکر میکنم نوشتن درست اسم این بند خدا چیه نیل آرم نیل آرمسترانگ Neil Armstrong was the first man who landed on moon. In a matter of the bishtar mane, he was an American, and he was the first person who landed on moon on July the twentieth, nineteen sixty-nine. Uh, number nine. When did the Berlin Wall come down? It came down in January. In nineteen eighty-nine. گذنه سی درسته و یه جمله خوشگلی گفت گفت It was the beginning of and uh, the end بزنید من اینو درستش کنم It was the beginning آغاز پایان The beginning of The end The end of what The end of Soviet Soviet Union. Ya hamun dolat Russia Soviet Union. Dorste? Aghaz payan Soviet Union bud. Berim shom berim soraq shom aray dah akhir mare jawab doros A about 25 years ago. 25 سال پیش بوده بعد گفت چی این زمانی بوده که پابلیک عموم مردم شروع به استفاده از اینترنت کردن اما یونیورسیتیز دیولپد ا سیستم ان انترا اینترنت سام هاو دات کود کانکت این کامپیوترز تو کامپیوترز اوکی ایت کود کانکت دی کامپیوترز ان ویت کامپیوترز توگیدر اوکی اند ایت هاپن این 1970s اند 1980s در دهه 70 و در دهه 80 
این در واقع میگه یونیورسیتی ها اومدن یک سیستمی رو دیولوب کردن توسعه دادن که یک سیستمی رو توسعه دادن که در واقع چی بود کامپیوتر ها رو به هم دیگه وصل میکرد اما پابلیک اون مردم 25 سال پیش تونستن که این کار رو در واقع انجام بدن تونستن این کار رو انجام بدن این از این پار بچه ها حالا شما ممکنه که یه سری چیزهای دیگه پیدا کرده باشید برای هر موردی مثلا بگیم من آقا یک نکته دیگه رو در موردش نوشتم موردی نداره میتونید از آخر کتابتون چک کنید اودیو کتاب اودیو مون شماره 7 ممیز 1 هست 7.1 از آخر کتاب چک کنید ببینید آیا موردی که شما نوشتید درست هست یا نه بریم صفحه بعدی مون صفحه آخرمون هست برای امروز چی داریم the good old days listen to billy talking to his granddad Roger about when Roger was young. Take the things they talk about. So here we have different topics. Uh, the first topic is programs on TV. The second is sport, pocket money, holidays, housework, comics, and school. So we have seven topics and we need to listen to the audio and figure out and decide on which topics do they they uh, actually talk about. So, let's go. Grandad, when you were a boy, did you have television? Of course we had television. But it wasn't colour TV like now. It was black and white. The screens weren't very big, like they are now. And there weren't many channels. How many channels were there then? Only two. But that was enough. We loved it. But there were no programs in the morning. What? So what time did programs begin? They didn't start till after four o'clock when I got home from school. That's when the children's programs were on. There were some brilliant programs for children. I was always sad when they stopped at six o'clock and the grown-up programs started. That's when I did my homework. Did your mum and dad give you pocket money? Yes, but I worked for it. I did the washing up every day. We didn't have dishwashers in those days. No dishwashers? Oh, that sounds awful. So how much pocket money did you get? I didn't get much. I got sixpence a week. That's only about 3p these days. But, oh... It seemed like a lot. I bought comics and sweets with it. What sort of comics did you buy? I bought a comic called The Eagle. That was full of adventure stories. And Superman. What? They had Superman comics then? Oh, yes. And they were very exciting to me. They had adverts in them from this strange, amazing country called America. <laughs> I really wanted to go there. So did you? No. People didn't go abroad for their holidays then. It was too expensive. I didn't go on a plane till I was a lot older. So where did you go on holiday? To the seaside in England. How did you get there? My dad drove. We had a Ford car. A Ford Prefect it was. We went to the same place every year. Why did you always go to the same place? Because we all liked it there. Huh. Well, I'm glad I wasn't alive then. It all sounds really boring. Ah, but that's where you're wrong. We didn't have so many things to choose from in those days. And everything we did seemed really exciting. OK, guys, these are your final answers so they talked about programs on tv the granddad said that the programs for children didn't start until 4 p.m and that was the time that he got back from school and it was on that the programs for children were on for a few hours and after that the adult program started and then he had to go to his room and start doing his homework. So that was all about programs on TV. Then he talked about pocket money and of course he received some pocket money or 
allowance and they, his parents just didn't give it to him for free. He had to work for it. He had to do the washing ups, uh, the, do the washings uh, for, for the pocket money. And then he bought sweets and comic books uh, with his pocket money. Then they talked about the holidays. He said that we went to, we didn't go abroad for holidays. We didn't go out of the country for holidays. They just traveled, traveled within, inside the country, not outside the country. So for holidays, they just traveled in the country. About the housework, he mentioned something about they didn't have the washing machine, so they had to do some hand job and do some uh, do the washing with their hands they, because they didn't have the washing machine and for comics he mentioned buying some comics because he was really interested in them and he spent his pocket money on comics and he read a lot about a dream country uh, in his comic books called America and he was always dreaming about traveling there and visiting that country so that was all they talked about this, this was a summary I gave you about the things they talked about in this listening section let's move on to the next part ولی قبلش بگم اگر متوجه صحبت های من نشدی برید از آخر کتاب دوباره سیج رو پلی بکنید و گوش کنید ببینید چی گفتن و بعد سر کنید برای خودتون سامری کنید و بعد دوباره این تیکه که من صحبت کردم براتون رو بریم گوش بکنید ببینید این دفعه متوجه صحبت های من میشین یا نه راحت از کنارش نگذارید بریم شماره دو Listen again and complete Billy's question اینجا بعد دیگه کم تمرین گرامر انجام بدیم Did you have television? How many TV channels were there? So میخواد بگه چه زمانی پروگرام ها شروع شدن پس میشه What time what time did the programs begin? What time did the programs begin? pocket money How much pocket money did you get? How much pocket money did you get? Pocket money, but pull to GB get money money pocket Pocket money is pull to GB. comic What sort of comics? Did you, مثلا, like? چه مدل اه, 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 کامیک هایی رو می رفتی مثلا می خوندی یا مثلا دوست داشتی uh, Number six, so می خواهد بگه holiday کجا می رفتید So, where did you go on holiday? Where did you go on holiday? بعدی چرا بعد میخوام بگم که چرا میرفتین اونجا چون یه جایی ثابت بود میگه ما همیشه میرفتیم اونجا میگه Why did you go there? و شماره هش فکر شما هفت بچه این بود که اونجا چی کار رو میکردی؟ بازه من نوازش کنم What did you What did you اونجا چی کار میکردی؟ What did you do there? و آخرین سال چی بود که چرا همیشه میرفتین یه جایی یک سال؟ Why did you always go to the same place same place یعنی همون همون یه جای یک جای یکسان چرا می رفتید why did you always go to the same place این جوابای اینجا گفته imagine what Roger said about these things in those days بعد جمله سازی کنیم دیگه we not have mobile phones in those days we didn't have mobile phones children didn't play video games because there was no video games there was no such things in those days so in those days children didn't play video games not so دیگه در گذشته ساده چجوری بر فعل اصلی رو منفی کنیم با didn't اینا توی پارت 1 درس 6 توضیح دادم people did not buy things with credit cards they paid 
in cash مردم میگه با کریدیت کارت چیزی نمی خریدن people didn't buy بعدی in those days در آن روزها these days که میگم منظورم این روزها those days که میگم یعنی اون روزها in those days این اتفاق می افتاده we did not shop online online نخریده اینکه اینترنتی نبوده we did not shop online and restaurants didn't serve fast food فائلم restaurants سرو نمی کردن منفی گذشته ساده didn't serve fast food این هم از این قسمت بریم یه دونه grammar spot هم اینجا داریم گفته که write the past simple form گفته گذشته سادهش رو بنویس خب من یکم این رو کوچیک بکنم خب آها میخواه بگه he likes it I want to go I wanted to go he likes it میگیم چی he liked it do you watch TV میگم چی did you یا همون did you watch TV TC چیه where does she work کجا کار میکرد where did she work یعنی دقیقا همون فرمه فقط داست تبدیل به دید میشه where did she work من همیشه بچه میگم به بچه های خودم هم. شما اگر در گرامر ها در گرامر زمان های جمله چون یه بحثی که حتما باید یاد بگیریم بسیار هم مهمه اگر در گرامر های زمان های جمله همون تنس ها اگر شما زمان حال رو حال ساده حال استمراری و حال کامل و حال کامل استمراری یاد بگیرید همونا در گذشته هست و همونها در آینده یه تغییر خیلی ریزی توش به وجود میاد ولی همونه اگر بتونید کانسپتش رو درک بکنید در زمان حال گذشته و آیندهش هم براحتی میتونید هم درکش کنید هم براحتی بسازینش پس بنابراین خیلی این مهمه I don't eat sweets مثلا من گفتی شیرنی اینا نمیخورم حالا میخواد بگی نمیخوردم don't میشه didn't تموم شد و رفت I didn't didn't eat sweets و بعدی they don't go out much اونا زیاد بیرون نمیرن اونا زیاد بیرون نمیرفتن میخوام بگم they don't oh, they didn't go out much این هم از اینجا complete the time expressions Henry Ford اینا دیگه زمان زمان هایی میاد که زمان هایی رو داره کار میکنه با اتون که در گذشته ساده استفاده میشه آخر جمله میاد اینا داره با اتون کار میکنه هنری فورد سولد the first model t فورد وقت برای سال میخوام بخوام بگم در فلان سال از چه حرف اضافه استفاده میکردیم این in 1908 I was born 28 آپری برای روز از چه حرف اضافه استفاده میکردیم on on April the 28th This lesson began ساعت پس از چه استفاده چه حرف زیر پسش استفاده می کردیم at میگه این درس شروع شد در ساعت نو بیلی سا راجر میگه میگه که بیلی راجر رو دید دو روز پیش two days پیش میشه چی two days ago خیلی کار کردیم بچه امروز اما خسته نشده باشید همچنان با علاقه ادامه بدید آیدی اینستاگرام تلگرام کانال تلگرام و یوتیوب من این پایین بیتونیم ببینید حتما فالو بکنید در هر سه اپلیکیشن من فعالیت دارم براتون مطالب زیاد رو اپلود میکنم هر روز حتما سر بزنید و استفاده بکنید و اینکه اگر سوالی چیزی هم داشتین حتما در قسمت کامنت برام بنویسید کامنت بلو all the things you want to ask me so and I'll be willing to answer all your questions I'm just here to help And that's it. Have a good day. See you around.